Meals on Wheels volunteers in Pukekoe say the food that they're having to serve elderly customers is now so bad that they've lost half their clients in less than a year. Compass Meals, which also provides the Meals on Wheels service in Southland, has been providing the meals in Pukekoe since 2008. But in July of last year, Compass contracted the service to LSG Sky Chefs, which provides meals for airliners. Volunteers say since that happened, the meals have halved in size and the food is soggy and often goes uneaten. Now, if you're watching this on uh, Freeview Channel 50, you'll see a picture showing the meals before and after LSG took over. For those of you listening on the radio, the after is notably smaller. Well, Brian Golding told our reporter Alex Ashton the Meals on Wheels service in Pokokui is now a shadow of its former self. Well, four years ago, when I started uh, um, delivering meals on wheels, you go around and you could see the meals in the, in, in the container, and they were good meals. They were cooked up here in our local hospital, which we've had for years, uh, maternity and old uh, thing, and it's a rehab unit now, and they've always been great meals. And you, man, when if you, you want to have a feed before you go on delivering meals because you get hungry just looking at them. And then July last year, late in July, they started. Somebody said, oh, no, we're going to make them frozen meals in Auckland. We bring them out here. The local people at the hospital and the cooks up there, all they do is bung them in a big oven and heat them up. And when we started seeing them, they come out and pack us like that, you'll see later, with the top on. You don't know what they get until they get them home. And the quality has deteriorated so bad that we're supplying, we're delivering well, just under half of what we were doing uh, in July last year. In August, they just dropped off 20 or 30 a month right down uh, where we used to deliver 18 or 20 on each run, now we're delivering seven and eight. Uh, and why is that? Is that because of the quality? The quality and people just, they're not all dying, don't worry about that. The people are just saying, well, no, I'm not eating this rubbish anymore. It's dropped off since the last figures I got here. Uh, the, the, the people are saying, no, the, the vegetables, when they're prepared in Auckland or wherever they're prepared, the vegetables are good, OK? They put in there, it's the processing of that. They, they freeze them up there. They bring them out here, they throw them in the freezer up here at the hospital and the, all the ladies do up here, big time cooks, put them in a big oven, heat them up, hot as hell, and we take them out and deliver them. There are certain diabetics that have got to ration their meals out. They have the amount of breakfast in the midday and then they've got to have a good meal at night time, which is this meal. So they naturally put it in the fridge and then heat it up at night time. Now, chicken and stuff like that, uh, fish is a very rare thing. It's always just meat. There's no variety. The biggest complaint we got today was no variety and the preparation of the meals is not good. Here's our hospital up here with beautiful ovens, beautiful people. I was in there for two weeks and I know what it was like to eat that food up there. And, and the other thing, Brian, food. just sorry to interrupt you, you know, but the other thing you're talking about was the size of the meals as well. So we just weighed yeah, this one before and it was yeah, about 350. 350. What were they before? Well, when they came over, the, the, the meal's always up there. Now, I, I don't want to incriminate any people up there, but I used to say to them, are these meals as big when we first started? Are these the same size meals as you fellas used to supply? And they said, oh, yeah, I think so. So I got one before I delivered it to the people that I know. I've known a lot of these people for years. I've known them since, me, since I was a kid. And I brought it home and weighed it on my little scales there, 700 grams, 650 grams, and all that sort of thing. Now, these ones, now I go up there to deliver them a few months ago, and I said, heck, these are a bit different. So I bring one home, 350 grams, half size. I ring the hospital and say, hey, what's happening? Don't worry, there's plenty of protein. We've had all these examined. There's protein in there and all that sort of jazz. A smart aleck on the other end said, no, 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 we know what we're doing. I said, yeah, well, I've got a bag, I've got a cat here. I feed a cat food on the bag, it says, full of protein. You know, yeah. cat food's so, got protein too. So you think the quality's down, the size is down, people yeah. are unhappy, orders yeah. are dropping off. What do you want to happen? I right. would like to see go back to the local hospital here, which is sitting up the hill, and give the people the same meals as we have in the hospital. They cook beautiful meals, not flashes, no luxury living, but good basic carrots, spuds and onions, um, pumpkin, all that. We grow this stuff here. And they, used to, they still buy it fresh here for the people that live here. Now, why can't these old people 
sitting in their homes by themselves, some of them they only see us people today delivering meals, why can't they have the same meals as if they were in that hospital up there? Mm. People are going, that I know of people that are told by their doctor, one particular lady, I think she's in having a hip operation done now, because she has had neighbours and family feed her greens. Her doctor told her, told her, you've got to eat more greens. Eat more greens. And how the hell can I? I'm getting meals on wheels. Made that decision to freeze the meals in there, and they're not flash frozen, quick frozen like Watties and all that. Whoever made that decision to do that, well, would have an IQ level of a half-sucked aniseed ball, and that's my opinion. So that, that's not good. It's, it's, it's not good tucker. That's Brian Golding who just wants his good tucker.